up YouTube? Crazy K5 bringing another episode of Is It Crazy? I've been using the yoga lately, like, this is a gun that I, I you know, you barely, you barely see any use of this gun. <laughs> it's a very, very heavy hitting gun, like, it kills people pretty quick, like, you'll see in the video, like, you can melt people pretty insanely quick with this gun, but, you know, big, big recommendation here, like, obviously, I, I always m use maneuverability, but, like, with this gun, like, I don't know what it is, like, it's just, like, the ADS time, like, normally, without Weapon Pro Tier 2 is so slow, like, you just feel like you're a slug, like, even though you're moving the same sort of speed, it's just, like, when you, like, obviously with an assault rifle, like, the SCAR or an SMG, like, the feline, like, you know, you've got really snap the aim, like, it zooms in really quick, so, you know, you can be really aggressive in that, but, with this gun, obviously, you, you know, you get, you, you know, if you use this gun, like, like I do, like, for a Russian sort of playstyle, like, you know, you try and, you, you know, you're trying to be aggressive, but your ADS time, like, it just stops you, like, it stops you dead in your tracks, so, use a feline or a marshal or something to get your weapon pro to tier 2, you know, I'm not saying it's impossible to use this gun without weapon pro, pro tier 2, like, if you've got a different playstyle to me, but, for me at least, I basically, I need weapon pro on this gun, so, I, I just got the, the red dot here, and no muzzle break or nothing, but, I just use uh, maneuverability weapon pro rapid fire, so, this gun melts. Like I, I tried out a lot of different things. Like obviously, like every everything else. Like if you use maneuverability and heavy weapon pro, like you do get a bit of a speed boost. So if you want to use maneuverability, heavy weapon pro, and weapon pro, you know that's that's pretty good. Like I had a little bit, little bit of success using that, but the rapid fire itself, like, just helps. You know, obviously drop enemies just as quick. But tried aim enhance. I found with this gun, you don't really need it. Like you know, it's. It's, it's an LMG, so it's meant to be, like, sustained sort of fire anyway, but... First shot recoil on this gun's pretty damn high, so... If you try and tap fire people from a range, like, it's not it's not really going to work out too well, like... But, if you hold the trigger down, I find the recoil is perfectly controllable, like... You know, it's... Even with rapid fire, like, it, it seems absolutely fine to sort of control the recoil with, so... Hip fire's pretty damn good as well, like... You know, you can connect pretty well with hip fire in close quarters... So, you know, there's always that to rely on. Not really too many attachments to this gun. Like, I used the muzzle brake. Like, when I unlocked a, a game after this, like, I, I did use the muzzle brake. So, but what what I found with the muzzle brake, at least on 360, was that the muzzle flash was so intense. Like, it used to be so hard to sort of aim with. But, I don't know, PC, it's, I don't know, it just seems a lot easier. Like, it seems a lot better. Like, and it just obviously aids that recoil. So, you know, you only get... You know, you only get the reflex, the assault scope, the muzzle brake, and extended mags from this gun. So, not really too much in the way of customization, but, you know, this gun doesn't really need it. Like, oh, and if I had that guy, that would have been nice. But, you know, I just got cleaned up in the back there. But, yeah, so, very, very good gun. Don't see, barely see anyone using this gun. Like, I've seen a couple of people use it, like, but... It, is, it looks pretty cool as well. Like you see the orange, the orange band on the side. Like it's like the takedown. Like it glows up in, like when you're in shadows and that. So it, it looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a good gun. It's definitely worth a go. Of uh, obviously this ain't the live commentary, but you know I'm obviously I'm reviewing different things about the gun and that. So you know it's going to be chopped up here and there. But the uh, the crazy gameplay hopefully will be. Well, it will be a live com. Like I will try and use this gun in a live com and get a sick game with it. So, yeah, it's that to look forward to. But you know, like I tried the assault scope, but I just found I don't know what it was, but for some reason I found the recoil was just bouncing all over the place with the assault scope. Like even with the muzzle brake and aim enhanced, like I found it just easier to get enemy. I could get enemies at longer range with the red dot than I could with the uh, with the assault scope. So for me, at least, I just stick with the red dot. You know, the iron sights are perfectly usable to get, you know, to start with, but once you get the red dot, stick it on, because it does increase your sort of, you can be a lot more precise with it, so, you know, there's that. You know, I find that assault scopes on most guns, like, apart from the Grendel and the Scar, like, you know, they're pretty, pretty hard to use. I mean, the assault scope in this game ain't too nice at all. Like, the assault scope on Crisis 2 was bloody, was, was nice to use, you know, it was quite, quite fun to use, but on this game, I don't know, the assault scope, like, even DSG, like, if you see you see people going for enemies at range, like they don't want to use a sniper scope, but they want to get people at a bit more range. So they use the reflex instead of the assault scope, like for that reason, like the reflex is just so much easier to use than the assault scope. Like it's just so cluttered. But you know, you don't you only get fifty in a mag, but 
with extended mags, obviously you get 75, but this guy, that would have been nice if I cleaned that guy up as well, but yeah, it pissed me off last night, you know, when I was getting this gameplay, because I, I had two good games, like one after the other, and like I got MVP basically for both of them, but the last five seconds come and someone initialises a vote kick, and then everyone fucking F1 and kicked me out the game, so little bit of a bummer that none of that sort of counted because I got vote kicked at the end of it, but nevertheless, I had a lot of fun with the gun. You know, I'm going to continue to have fun with the gun, and you know, when I'm, uh, when I'm on my fifth reboot, which is going to be soon, like, I'm going to, I'm just going to go through what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all the guns. Basically, I'm going to get all the kills, max level every gun, and then go through and headshot, kill every gun. So, you know, obviously, is it crazy in that? I'll still do different weapons in that, but Basically, I'm going to do them sort of things in order and do challenges and stuff based around that. This guy just cleans me up with the, with the X-Pack. Come on, I'll get vengeance on him and then this is it. Like, I'll come down here and I'll get vote kicked. So, piss me off, but nevertheless, it's a good gun, the Ojga. You know, like, give it a go if you haven't tried it in a while. But it's a very good gun, very fun to use. Just use it with Wet and Pro, that's my recommendation. But anyway, I hope you look forward to the next episode, guys. This has been Crazy K-Fud. I'll see you in the next one.